we're releasing a new plan. A plan. I have a plan to create at least five million new jobs. I have a plan. Politicians always have a new plan. And with a plan of this scale. And government's plans are supervised by experts. And that's why I've asked Vice President Biden to lead a tough, unprecedented oversight effort. Because nobody messes with Joe. But lots of people messed with Joe. Fraud was massive. More than 730 allegations of fraud. And yet, what's the alternative to government's plan? Just let us alone and we will create wealth. The biggest things in life actually aren't planned. No design is imposed on them. He's right. We don't notice that most of life happens without a central planner in charge. Here's one thought experiment. Suppose you'd never seen a skating rink and I told you I want to lay down some ice and I'm going to charge people money to strap sharp blades to their feet. And they're going to zip around in the ice, young and old, skilled and unskilled. And my only rule is go counterclockwise. Any intellectual thinking about this would say somebody's got to say, you skate more to the right, you skate more to the left, you slow down. And yet it turns out it works. People are able to go at different speeds, avoid hitting each other. Just imagine somebody like Hillary Clinton looking at this saying, oh, I could plan this better. I have outlined a comprehensive plan. She said once, I'm a government junkie. So she likes planning, and she thinks everything can be made better by having a government plan imposed on it. If you tried that, it would be a disaster. You, turn left, turn right. I did try it. Go faster, you go slower. It didn't improve anyone's skating. I made things worse. But maybe it's because I'm not a skating specialist. We need an expert. What about this woman? Turns out that she once skated in the Olympics, and now she coaches figure skaters. I'll get the expert to direct. No holding hands. Slow down. If anything, more people had trouble when we gave instructions. I wasn't helping? No. Go left, go right. I was like, somebody please take the microphone away from that guy. <laughs> but don't you need police on the skating rink? Never! It works when you let people make thousands of decisions a minute. And there's no way that any planner can know all of those things as fast as you and I know our own interests. <laughs> The skating rink is an example of what economists call spontaneous order. The idea that even without a central plan, people figure things out on their own. There's spontaneous order in nature. Schools of fish, a flock of birds. Each bird moves on its own without constant direction from a leader. And how did language happen? Nobody designed the English language, it just evolved. But language is a mess. Every language has grammar that contradicts the rules and words that mean different things but sound the same. Yes, and there have been intellectuals who noticed that and said, let's create a world language that follows the rules. Esperanto's the biggest example of that. William Shatner made this movie in Esperanto. The U.S. Army used Esperanto in drills. It was the language of their made-up opposing army. These intellectuals said, we can make it better. We can make a simpler language that everyone can learn, and then we, everybody can speak to each other. There are two characteristics of these languages. They were designed by someone to make sense, and no one speaks them. Esperanto was a private effort, and therefore harmless. But government is force. And so what happens when government planners try to run lots of things? They really did try that in the Soviet Union. It didn't work. So nobody tries that anymore. Why didn't it work? After all, brilliant Soviet mathematicians came up with formulas like these to allocate economic production. This was their brilliant rule for allocating water. The result of all this planning? Long lines waiting outside shops for hours in the cold. And inside? Empty shelves, just a few unappetizing cans of fish. Maybe a chicken, you would guess, had died of malnutrition. Russians waited in line for hours, and the products they got were lousy. When East German scientists designed cars, this is what you get, the Trabant, the pride of the Eastern Bloc. The Trabant was built by expert planners, and yet it was a terrible car, hard to drive, 
and it spewed pollution. He had to put the oil and gas in separately and then shake the car to mix them. But the central planters said it was great. Once the Berlin Wall went down and the Tremont had private sector competition, it disappeared. People prefer Toyotas and Fords. Communism fails utterly, but people still support central planning. A plan, a new plan, a plan, a plan, a plan. But the alternative, no central plan, frightens people. Because we know in our own lives, it took a lot of planning to set up this interview. I make decisions every day. Would I rather fly or take the train? Would I rather buy the Big Mac or the Whopper? And so on and so on. There's a difference between government plans and my plans. Yes. Individuals make thousands of choices. Should I turn left or right on the ice? Play faster or slower when improvising this song? Should I edit Wikipedia because I'm into... Mostly photography. Pink Floyd. Baking because I love to bake. All these people volunteer to edit today's most consulted encyclopedia. People who don't even know each other, people who probably don't like each other. This incredible flowering of people putting all the knowledge in the history of the world up on the web. And it's been completely undesigned, unimposed. For years, people assumed encyclopedias must be carefully edited by professionals. From the Ice Age to the Space Age, all the latest information. Wikipedia, on the other hand, begins with a very radical idea. Jimmy Wales founded Wikipedia, he says, to get away from central planning. An Encyclopedia Britannica editor sneered, The user who visits Wikipedia is a visitor to a public restroom. But it turns out Wikipedia is just as accurate as professionally edited encyclopedias. And... They no longer print encyclopedias. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's a bit sad in a way. Uh, you know, I, I love the old encyclopedias. I love Britannica. Um, but I love candles, too. But I sure wouldn't give up my electric light. You tried a top-down encyclopedia, a newpedia. You hired a PhD in philosophy. It failed. It failed, yeah. But Wikipedia, without a central plan, succeeded. You have a 1,000 people who work pretty full-time at this for nothing. If it's something you find interesting, then you will do it for free. This is a group of people who say, look, we've got all these entries about bridges. We want to make sure they're all really good because we love bridges. We're like bridge fanatics. I mean, who knew bridge fanatics exist, but they do. But having no editor at the top sounds risky. On Wikipedia, anyone can edit pages. What's to stop people from posting horrible stuff about me, say? And I'm sure they have at times, but it gets reverted very quickly. How uh, quickly? Well, typically within five minutes. Tragedy. Anne Nicole Smith died today. When Anna Nicole Smith died, some person uh, came and deleted the entire entry and wrote something quite vulgar. And it was reverted very quickly, probably within one minute. Wikipedia, says Wales, shows that voluntary exchange works best. American medicine, by contrast, is dominated by central planners. Seven out of eight dollars are paid not by the patient, but by someone else, government or an insurance company. So they set the rules. Doctors and patients are not allowed to interact like skaters on a rink, spontaneously adjusting to each other's needs. It's one reason medical treatment is so expensive and unpleasant, except in a couple specialties. If your eyes could talk, they'd say life is clearly better. LASIK eye surgery allows many people to see clearly without glasses. How amazing it felt to be able to open my eyes and to be able to see things. I'd like to improve my vision. Do you see a slit in a circle? I went to this laser surgeon to see if I could get rid of reading glasses. How might he do that? We're changing the curvature of their cornea, which is like the watch glass, the glass on front of your watch. All I am is really a sophisticated carpenter. That's it. I do carpentry within a half a millimeter space with a laser. Today's laser replaces the blade that he used just a few years ago. He says he used it like a guillotine. Slice their cornea and go in and out. Slice the cornea, that just sounds creepy. Far less precise than the laser we use now. Now the machine does it. Exact depths, exact widths. So our ability to screen and treat and reduce complications is much, much better. This innovation didn't happen because a central planner demanded it. It happened because LASIK patients and doctors deal directly with each other. Because we patients pay with our own money, LASIK surgeons act like the skaters 
adjusting constantly to what their customers might want. The surgeons buy new equipment and try new things. What do I need to do? You got movies playing in the waiting room. Of course, we have entertainment, we have free Wi-Fi, we have snacks. I was thinking of getting someone to play music in the waiting room just so someone has a better experience. Our typical waiting time is less than five minutes. How long do you wait to see your doctor? If you have a broken leg and you're sitting in an orthopedist's office, you will sit there for three hours. Why do you make the extra Because effort? they'll leave. <laughs> People will not stay. They have choices. I don't when it comes to my eyes. Your type of astigmatism by shape is not a good candidate for this procedure. Darn! But for those who are, like this woman, LASIK surgery is a wonderful thing. Yes, she'll have to pay the $2,000 bill herself because insurance rarely pays for this. But insurance or government not paying has benefits. Prices are not soaring on LASIK surgery. In fact, they're falling. If you look at cosmetic surgery, which is not covered by most health insurance plans, prices are not going up the way other health care is. Why? Because each person is making that decision. Just as they do here and in most of life. Still, some central planning is needed. We need police, a military, to keep us safe, and courts to resolve disputes. For the spontaneous order to work, you still need some rules. Don't hit other people and don't take their stuff. That's it? Don't hit people, don't take their stuff? And keep your promises. And once you have those rules, we become more socially harmonious and the beneficiaries of all the art and creativity that happens in a society like that.